Hello everyone, welcome to the DPB Podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Mondes. This is episode number 237 for January 18th, 2022. Welcome to the Disney Pins Blog Podcast, the latest news on Disney pin trading and collecting from around the world. Welcome back to the show, everyone. I have two things for housekeeping this week, and then we'll get into the pin news for uh, January 2022, week three. First up, I made a uh, navigation change to DisneyPinsBlog.com. Uh, now when you click on the store, there is a drop down that will show you the product categories. Uh, so before it just said cart, check out my account, special offers, that's where all the coupons go. But now you can see all of the product categories. If you select products, it'll take you to every single product in the store. And then uh, if you just hover over products, it'll give you the specific categories of the store, which include Disney pins, DPB exclusive, Artland pins, lounge fly pins, and lanyards. And then the second thing for housekeeping is very exciting for us. It's our fourth official Disney pin release. This one, just in time for Valentine's Day, it features Anna from Frozen and says, mmm, chocolate on it, straight from the film. It's limited edition of just 300, so made this one a little bit more rare, and it features glitter embellishments. That is available now at dpbstore.com while supplies last. And we still have the other three available. Our first one was Mickey and the Seal, and we have the Maleficent and Diablo pin for Halloween, and then uh, the Jasmine one for Christmas time, Jasmine with Raja. Those are all still available, dpbstore.com, but we are getting low on the first one, the Mickey and the Seal. So if you had your eye on that one, I would snatch it up soon. Only have about 75 left out of the 500. All right, now we'll head into the pin news. First, we're gonna start off with Box Lunch. They had the most amount of pin releases this past week. First, there was a 101 Dalmatians pin release. The first one features Corella DeVille and has an elegant frame around the pin. Pin on pin design, retail price $14.90. And then there was a Rolly in sandwiches pin. This one is just $9.90. Features a little pup there next to two sandwiches. He looks mighty hungry. Then there was a Yoda Star Wars Valentine's Day pin. This one reads, too cute I am. Yoda's holding a little heart shaped candy there. And uh, retail price for that one is $9.90. Next, there was a Marvel WandaVision talent show pin set. Has a gray scale design. Two different pins here, retail price $14.90. Then there were two releases at Box Lunch in this new uh, circle frame collection. The first one features Ariel and Eric from Little Mermaid. And the second one features the King and Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. Both of those have a retail price of $9.90. And then finally, there was a new storybook pin. This one features Robin Hood. This is a continuation of the storybook series. First was Sword in the Stone, second was Pinocchio, third Snow White, and now we have Robin Hood at Box Lunch. Retail price of that one is $12.90. Next, we'll head over to Hot Topic. They had a new Ratatouille pin release featuring Remy and Emil. Emil is eating a piece of cheese, and uh, Remy is there next to him. Retail price for that one is just $8.90. Next up is Artlin. They had a new pin release recently featuring Kim Possible. And these are also available at dppstore.com while supplies last. First one just features Kim Possible. Limited edition of 200. Actually, all of these are limited edition of 200. Uh, this one's a little bit bigger, coming in about 2.4 inches. Then there was a Team Possible pin. This one about 3 inches. And then the third one features Rufus, the naked mole rat. That one's just a bit smaller, around two inches in size. Next up is Loungefly. The Tuesday pin release this week features Lady and the Tramp. And this is a lenticular pin. So you have Lady and Tramp on there, stepping on the heart-shaped concrete. And uh, you can see when you move it back and forth, the initials there and uh, paw prints. That's limited edition of 600. Retail price $25, released on Tuesday, January 18th at loungefly.com. Next up is Mickey's of Glendale for cast members. There was a new WDI pin release. This one is a little was a little bit delayed. They were Christmas pins featuring Chippendale, Clarice, Horse, and Clarabelle. And then you have Mickey and Friends 
Uh, really nice designs on these bins, kind of like a vintage uh, Christmas theme. They were all limited edition of 250. Those released on uh, Friday, January 14th at Mickey's of Glendale. And then next we'll head overseas to Shanghai Disney Resort. They had another pin in the Shanghai Disneyland 5th Anniversary Collection. This one features Tigger popping out of the Big Five logo. And that's limited edition of 800 exclusive to Shanghai Disney Resort. And then finally, we have Disney Parks in America. This past week was the Epcot International Festival of the Arts. I already did a video on this. The blog post is up, but in case you guys missed it, there were four new pin releases. Some were limited edition, and the other two were limited release. Then there was a new Positive Vibes pin set at Disney Parks, available at Disneyland in Walt Disney World. Features three different Disney flare pins. One reads, Be Happy. The other one is a Mickey icon that reads, Stay Balanced. And then there was kind of like a Mickey sun. It's very bright with orange and yellows on it. That is open edition. Retail price is $17.99 for that three pin set. And then a few days ago, we listed out all of the monthly and quarterly pin collections for 2022 at Disneyland in Walt Disney World. We do have the official names and edition sizes and where they actually are being released at. That blog post is up now at DisneyPinsBook.com in case you guys missed it. But uh, Disneyland exclusives include the attraction and land posters, as well as the character gift boxes. And then the Walt Disney World exclusive will be the Characters on Parade collection. That's LE 2500. And then the shared releases feature our transformation story, which is a uh, bi-monthly collection, alternates between each coast, just like the windows of Main Street USA. Then the Disney Princess Tea Party collection, Floating Down Main Street USA, those are the hot air balloons, the Disney Beautiful Florals collection, and then the Disney Arcade collection, those are the pinball pins, which I am super excited about. Those are LA 1500. And now for the new pin releases this week at Disney Parks. There weren't any Walt Disney World exclusives, but there were two shared and one exclusive to Disneyland. The uh, two shared pins feature Star Wars. There is a light side and a dark side. The light side has Luke Skywalker as a pin on pin holding a lightsaber. And then the dark side has Darth Vader with a pin on pin holding a lightsaber. And both of those are movable elements, kind of like they're you know, swinging the uh, lightsaber back and forth. Both of those pins are limited release with a retail price of $15.99. Again, released on Tuesday, January 18th on both coasts. And then for the Disneyland exclusive this week, it is the first Disneyland posters pin release for 2022. And it features Fantasyland with the Sleeping Beauty Castle. This was a super popular pin release for the week. Probably the number one release of the week. Limited edition of 2000. Retail price $19.99. Again, that is exclusive to Disneyland. All right, I think that's going to do it for the pin news this week. Keep an eye out, though, to uh, the giveaways tab at Disney Pins Blog. Our January giveaway is launching really soon. It's going to be up for about a week. Um, then also check out the events tab at Disney Pins Blog. We just added a bunch of new events, um, and there is one this Saturday here in Florida, actually at Disney Springs, the uh, Holiday Inn at Disney Springs. So if you want to see more, just hit up that events tab. And if you have any local pin shooting events, please let us know and we'll get them added. All right, thanks for listening and watching and hope you have a great rest of your week. See ya.